Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy. Today we are looking at ratio relationships. We're going to talk about a ratio as a relationship. I'm going to show you some examples of ratios and then do some practice questions together. After you've finished that, I encourage you to do the worksheet, all the questions on the worksheet, check your answers, and then show me what you know by taking the quiz. Let's get into today's mini lesson. A ratio is a comparison of two values. For example, if I have one car and two trucks, like you see here, then I can compare them. Watch how I can compare them. I could say I have two trucks for every car, or I could say I have two trucks per car. All right, and that is one way we could compare. We could also compare the opposite way, and I, I could say I have one car per two trucks. Now it kind of sounds funny. I have one car for every two trucks. That kind of sounds a little bit better. But that's in essence a ratio. It's comparing two separate values. In the future, we're going to use ratios to compare, make calculations, make predictions. So ratios are something you're going to see a lot in your academic future. You'll also see it in real life, and hopefully some of these lessons can, can show you that. For today, we're just going to practice identifying ratios and writing ratios. So we're not gonna get into all of that other stuff right now. Let's talk about how we write a ratio. You can write a ratio in three different ways something called colon form, word form, and then a fraction form. Now, don't freak out when you see the word fraction. <laughs> At this point, we've been doing fractions a lot this year. Colon form is writing a ratio like this, one to two. Again, this is our comparison of cars to trucks. In word form, we would just write the word two in between them instead of writing a colon. Makes sense, word form has the word two, colon form has the colon. And the way we read it even in both of those is one to two. Fraction form is just putting the first number in the numerator and the second number in the denominator. Our fraction form here would also be read one to two. We could say it's one half, um, but typically if we're reading it as a ratio, we would read it the same way. This is one to two. Let's practice. Jim has three red blocks, four blue blocks, and seven orange blocks. What's the ratio of red to blue blocks? I'll draw this out where we have these blocks, and we can write them in colon form, word form, and fraction form. The ratio we're looking for is a ratio of red to blue, so there's three red blocks and four blue blocks. So the ratio would look like this, three to four, three to four, or three over four. That's it. That's how we write ratios. Let's do another one. I want you to try this on your own. Jim has three red blocks, four blue blocks, seven orange blocks, same blocks. What's the ratio of orange to red? And try writing it in the different three forms. Pause and practice, go for it. Hey, welcome back. We've got our colon form, word form, and fraction form. There are seven orange blocks and three red blocks. So it would be a ratio of seven to three. The order in ratios does matter. So if they're asking for a ratio of orange to red, you have to include the orange number first and the red number second. And that's important because it won't always appear that way in the question. Um, like in the when they're listing the data, like they list red first, then blue, then orange. You have to be looking specifically at the question at the end. What's the ratio of orange to red? It's going to be orange number first, red number second. Let's practice again. Same blocks. What's the ratio of blue to the total number of blocks? I want you to try that one out and write it in colon form, word form, and fraction form. Go for it. This one actually required an extra step. We had to figure out what is the total number of blocks, right? We're told he has three red, four blue, seven orange, but it doesn't say how many blocks total. So we have to either draw it out and count it or add three plus four plus seven to get 14. So our ratio is going to be four to 14 
4 to 14 or 4 to 14. That's going to be our ratio. Pretty straightforward, looking good. Now you might at this point look at that fraction and say 4 over 14, that can be simplified and that's actually our lesson, the next lesson actually is on simplifying ratios. So right now in today's lesson, because it's an introduction to ratios, I'm not going to require that we simplify ratios. However, we will certainly be doing that moving forward. All right, in my drawer, I have 13 crayons. Three are red, four are blue, and the rest are green. What's the ratio of blue to red? This situation here, we're given three red crayons, four blue crayons, and we're told that there are a certain number of green ones. We're given the total number of crayons, but not the number of green crayons. In this case, you need to figure out how many green crayons they get, and then write them in colon form, word form, and fraction form. Dum, dum, dum. Actually, if you look at this one, it's asking for the ratio of blue to red, so we actually don't need to figure out the number of green crayons right now, do we? No, because we're told blue, there are four of those, and there is three red. So we can actually solve this one without doing the figuring out of how many green are there. We don't need to know how many green are there. We will need to know for the next question. though. All right, here's the same question. Um, now we're asking for the ratio of green to red. Now's when we need to figure out how many green crayons that we actually have. The way we do this is we take the total number of crayons and we subtract what we know. We subtract the red and we subtract the blue. So we're subtracting three and four, or in other words, we're subtracting seven. So there are six green crayons. And when we draw them in here like this and kind of remove that question. We can look now at our total and count if we want, and that is the total number of crayons. There should be 13 total crayons, four red, or three red, four blue, and the rest are green. Now we're going to write out our answer in colon form, word form, and fraction form. Our ratio of green to red will be six to three, six to three, and six to three. And again, if you've been focused on simplifying fractions, you might look at that and go, ah, it needs to be simplified. Trust me, we will simplify ratios next. So don't you worry about that. We're going to be writing ratios in simplest form moving forward. In fact, this is the only lesson where we're not writing ratios in simplest form. And that's just because we're practicing writing them in colon form, word form, and fraction form. All right, couple things to remember. A ratio is a comparison. You need to read each question carefully so that you know exactly what you're looking for and the order you need to write them. Pictures can help make a question a little bit more clear. If you're more of a visual learner, you might draw pictures like I did in the examples that I made. And sometimes if maybe the things you're drawing are complex, you don't have to draw them in a complicated way. You could just draw dots to help you remember and make it more visual. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.